So, we've had a couple days. Mm-hmm. What do you think about the Will Smith thing after all the stuff has came out? <sighs> Why would you do this to me? <sighs> oh, my. And go. <laughs> okay. What do I think? Was he, was he right? Because your brother, Rich Music, thinks he was right. And he was busy, so I couldn't get him on the live. I tried to get him on the live, but he ducked that joint. He was like, nah, I got stuff to do. Okay. Um, there comes a time when a man, he just snaps. Okay. Do you want, like, the real? Do you want the politically real question or, like, what I honestly? Got it. Okay. Um... What I took from it was it 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 was it just didn't make any sense. It was erratic behavior considering all that's happened. I mean, I seen the part where he was laughing when the joke was told. So to hear you know, I don't know if everyone's seen the whole thing, but they kind of showed, you know, the lead up to it mm-hmm. along with the actual action. And when I seen that, you know, he was laughing and then I guess, you know, she, um, Jada Pickett didn't laugh or what have you. And then he felt like he had to walk up to defend the honor. I, yeah, like this... I don't know what to say. You know, I just hate the fact that he did it this way. Yeah. You know what I mean? I just, I just, that that's the one thing that's just like, why this way? You know, these, everyone here involved are older. They're, they're mature. They understand what consequence is. Yeah, uh, right. Will like Smith is fifty three. Chris yeah. Rock is sixty. It's like you understand what consequence is, whether there's a financial consequence, a criminal, a civil, whatever, or a, a further down the line consequence. It's just not a good look. I just, I, I just, it hurt my heart to see it because I'm like you get all this money and you do this? Like, I just didn't get, I don't get it. At this point, I don't understand what are we doing now in life. This looked like a pretty reasonable Oscar. You know what I'm saying? I mean, even, and we also have to understand that Chris Rock is a seasoned, He's a legend. well-trained, um... You know, he he has decorum, he has coof, he he knows what he's supposed to do, he knows his range, he you know, it's not someone that was doesn't know or probably never interacted with. It's just so weird that this happened. And it's just not fair that it happened. You know, I I, I <laughs> even the thing he said after, it was funny. He yeah. said, Well, Will Smith just smacked the shit. <laughs> And see, he curse. Yeah, that yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Um, it just was unfair. And what I mean by unfair is it's like in any other circumstance, this would not have gone down. And like then this. then he cries. And it's like, bro, I've been first of all, I'm sub to his YouTube. I watch his YouTube, which is it's good stuff. But he is just crying pulled, left and right. The, the way I looked at it, he pulled a Karen. Yeah. I felt it was a it was giving Karen vibes. It was like you did something and instead of you taking full responsibility for it, you pawned it off onto something that didn't happen. Like I said, if we're just outside looking in. Dude, you were laughing. I can't see I can't get past it. I thought he wasn't laughing. When they showed him like I my whole just thought changed. I'm like, "Wait, what?" And again, we can we can say, well, you know, they went through the entanglement and stuff. The truth is, that was not the place for it. The Oscar already has been known to be preferential, favorable. 
sometimes cheating, you know, you know, exclusion, things like that. That display sets us back. It's just like like, if they don't bring if they don't bring black people up there for another 10 years, we can't complain. Yeah. And you assume we uh, four years ago, Will and Jada was doing the boycott of the Oscars. Oscar so white. They let her, all these people are on here, and in four years, there's a pimp smack out of nowhere. You know, and it's like. And the truth is, you know, you know, I looked at it from Chris Rock's standpoint. You know, he, to me, he was humiliated. Yeah. And no one stopped the show. Yeah, that's what uh, old girl was saying. It was like, he was allowed to sit there, enjoy the rest of the show, and get his award. Yeah, and it's just like, on what planet does that normally happen? And it, like, really? Like, you s- strike someone and then you go and continue on? Like, that's not normal. And like I said, the problem is that when we look to these celebrities as the beacon of light, you know, we have to remember that this is this is not real. What he did was real. But the consequences will not be extended as pleasant (laughs) to us, to real life people. If I would have went in there and shoved Chris Rock. Yeah. They would have tased me. Yeah. My thing, and now people are still shaking his hands and all that. See, my thing is the extent of the fallout cannot be seen. It will be seen in the next two years. Yeah. You will see a video saying why Hollywood does not cast will smith anymore yeah and this is the actual you're not actually seeing the moment yeah because usually you just don't see the person anymore yeah they just like this time you've seen it it's just wesley snipes and it'll just make sense to you like oh Oh. i remember that you know he'll he'll definitely be doing indie films yeah i told i i you know i love my brother rich but the thing you're wrong on this one i think rich the only thing i would say in that regard is that if a kid, if a young person, if someone else was watching this and felt empowered to slap, somebody. to slap someone, the truth is they will not receive the grace no. that Will did. Now, I'm going to flip it because I'm a woman, right? And I'm going to say that I think it was very, very, very telling on Jada's part because here's my thing. Why would you even let him go up there? I would have. Now, I don't know how you guys get down, but I'm old school. My grandma used to always tell me, if you got a problem with your man, you know what I mean? Like, because, you know, you'll be out in public. You'll get upset. Maybe something have you get upset. You hold that till you get to the house. You don't let inside stuff come out in public because, you know, it can lead to something to maybe a a person mistaking something in between y'all, what have you. The fact that he went up there, I feel like it's in women's women have to kind of be that saving grace from in that rock in times like this. Cause I think if it was just a simple, will don't go up there. Yeah. She could have held his hand. She could have held his hand. She could have comforted him. He could have got upset. She could have said no, because I'm thinking of a person who to me always they they're each other's rock is like Jay Z and Beyonce. Right. I think Beyonce has would a would calming, yeah, there. she has a very calming thing about her where even if he spaz out or so, because I, I related to that, um, the elevator thing. He took those hits from her sister. Right. And I think it's really because she didn't react. Now, imagine she got heightened and stuff. They all would have been fist fighting in that joint. Like, I, I feel like sometimes some people are too explosive and that's what I think. I think she secretly felt good in that. She felt like, you know, he defended me. But the truth is, where was that with the entanglement thing? <laughs> you know, you hurt. Did you, I, for her to think that she did not hurt his manhood beyond his celebrity would be facetious to say. Like, that's crazy to me that that's okay to do. But him speaking about, or, you know, Chris Rock telling a joke that, you, I just, it's hard to get into because you know what? You also have to be in a negative headspace to really break this down. And I'm just not. I just yeah, look. It's just, it's just wrong. It was just wrong. I just felt like it was it's, absolutely it's, wrong. It's wrong. It's a person who's trying to take 
Uh, I'm a victim standpoint. I'm crying. Dude, you're worth $400 million. Boo-hoo. So that means now no more. Remember roasting sessions? All that's like, gone. Like, you know, how they would roast Shaq and right. it's it's over. Now we can't even joke. And it's like comedians, that is how they make their living. Dang, our deputies investigate. Like, this is how they make their living. They talk about any and everything. Now they're censored. Then that means we're no, that means there's no more fun no more. And the day we stop laughing, you can go and call life goodbye. I mean, that's that's it. I just it's way this went way out of hand. I just think it went way out of hand. I I, I know people side with Will because they're looking at it as he's a man and he should defend his woman. But right. to be honest with you, a real woman would not put their man in these positions. Oh, definitely where, mess with the money. Yeah, and not mess with that money. Because my yeah, thing like is this. See, banned. Yeah, you. It's you, coming. It's, yeah. They're going to let it soak. Everybody's going to figure out what the best angle is going to come through. And it's it may not be an open ban. It'll just be you don't get the part or the phone is just going to stop ringing. Plus, think about it this way, y'all. You're at someone else's event. You know, why didn't no one get slapped at the red table? Isn't that their thing that they put together? Like, no one's slapping nobody there. Why would you do this at someone else's event? That, that's what we're talking about with having decorum. It's like, where can we go where we could be safe? And then they said he wouldn't leave. Like, so he, like, he slapped them double down. I mean, they, let Suge Knight out. <laughs> let him out. Let Reinstate the Source Awards. And well, let it go back. Talking about Kanye so bad. Yeah. And like he's slapping people at the office. He Kanye just picked the phone, picked the rem- remote up, and was like, picked a uh, thing up and said some words. He didn't slap Taylor Swift. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's like, come on, y'all. It's it's like Kanye got banned for a minute. After yeah, that. I'm just again. I know what this does, right? It the becomes memes are funny though. Yeah, it's 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 going to uh, um, blossom into something. That, you know, again, we're going to have to go through the whole bullying campaign. and vi- Like, we know the setup. Here's the thing. I think that it reinstated um, the stereotypes that we're trying to get away from. Um, it also showed the lack of respect between amongst us as black people from one man to the next, one woman to the next. Um, you know, and again, to me... This is why I always don't really necessarily look to old heads all the time to show the way because I think we put them up on pedestals to the point where if they do something wrong, they have a viable excuse. And the truth is no one does. You know, there's no excuse for this. And, you know, Will Smith, you know, Philly, you know, represent all that. But the truth is I think you made a grave mistake um, considering that you are an icon, you are a mentor, whether you want to believe that or not, whether you want to accept that or not. My thing is you took the 400 million, bro. Yeah. And with that comes responsibility. Hell, I got sick of it. Then you need to stop getting on camera for a couple of years and just freaking kiss the begonias in the middle of your compound somewhere and stop coming out. Uh, yeah. If that's the case, you took the money, you got the cars, you got the States all over the world. You, you, you took the money, bro. And that's one thing I, like I told you before, if you take sick money, from sick people and sick uh, 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 idolization from sick people, which that's all Hollywood is. Yeah. You get the sick crap to come with it. They're going to poke fun at you. Yeah. They're going to do things like that. I mean, we felt it with the other channel with 100,000 subs, and we we were nowhere near $400 million. I mean, yeah. Can you imagine what it would have been? And yeah. I wasn't out there smacking people. Like, yeah. dude, dude. You got the money to fight. It's a it's a pimp smack. You ain't gonna go to jail forever. Like you know, it is whatever. But what 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 it does show me is, you need help. Yeah. You're 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 way looser than I remember your image being. You're crying all over your joint. You're crying at the red table talk. You're smacking people with Oscars. If this isn't a clear sign or cry for help, I don't know what it is. Yeah, because I remember Will said something very um, honest. He said, you know. I'm not responsible for my wife's happiness. You know, I'm responsible for mine and she's responsible for hers. And when we come together, we have a beautiful time. That is, that is how we're able to have a lasting relationship. And so that's what I look at. You didn't even practice what you preach in that way. Right. If she was unhappy in that moment, you comfort her, you support her, but sh- lashing out mean there was something with you that was personal to you. I don't think, uh, you know, me personally, shame to Jada. 
Because like I said, there's a way to go about things. If that's your man, I don't put Sean in any position where he's affected and now I'm at a loss. I'm at a disadvantage. So I give you a prime example with the uh, the channel. You know, I could have been a person that added fuel to the fire. It I had to be the one to say, you know what? Of course it's natural for Sean to defend my honor or, you know what I'm saying, or be there for me. But wouldn't it be something if I show him, you know what, I am stronger than this. We don't need none of these people. And we don't need none of these people, and they can continue to say what they want, but my focus is on you. When th- that moment, that defining moment, allowed us to rise above the negativity. And now where are all these people? Gone. They're gone. Non-factors. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, I just wanted to get her take on it real quick, and I wanted to get, like, three videos that I could, like, <laughs> We so did that. Yeah. don't do drugs. Be happy, man. We're going to be talking about social commentary, movie reviews, gaming, game reviews, tech reviews, set up a uh, YouTube set of reviews. We're going to be doing it all on this channel. So make sure you sub to it. Be happy and don't do drugs. And please don't be running around slapping. People. Don't slap people. You ain't you ain't light skin like whatever. you ain't got that money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're not going to give man, you the same. Even, blind. I mean, you know, it's bad when you still have the money and they're still talking about the state attorney picking it up. They're thinking like, yo, like, and they should. Yeah, but See, I'm just in yeah. the great state of Virginia. They would, it will, would, uh, Chris would have been a factor. Will, yeah, uh, Virginia would have just prosecuted. Yeah, Pennsylvania would have just okay. The state. Oh well, that's a, that's an assault. That's done. Yeah, so. and you're a big name, so we really want to prosecute you. Oh yeah, yeah. They would have just <laughs> gave it to him. I mean, he wouldn't did no time because he got money. And oh, all that but stuff, he would have paid oh, royally. He'd been on probation for twenty years. Yeah. <laughs> they they would have been psych. They would have got him a psych check. Yeah, he would have had a state uh, counselor. Yeah. they would have been uh, drug testing him. He would have been going through all type of stuff. La- and and uh, lastly, ladies, be your man's peace. You know, we go through a lot as ladies, but honestly, um, we don't receive the same punishments and the same consequences as our men. So, um, be your man's peace. It's hard out here, but don't put him in a situation where now you might not see him or it might not be the same. So don't do drugs. Be happy. We are the five thousand sub to the channel. Hit the bell. Make sure you go to our Patreon and we do stream on and Twitch. Go to Target, get an MTV jacket. All oh, Daisy, but you know you should be getting paid for that. Oh yeah. Don't get an MTV jacket.